What's that? The rotting corpse of a rat. I suppose it might come in useful. How? I'm not going there unless I have to. I keep seeing stuff whenever I go into a sewer. Hey, mad guy. You want a rat? What crime have you committed? Has the order charged you with anything? This is the rap sheet for Henry Garrison. No charge has been listed. A rap sheet for Brian Burnham. They're gonna find no charge has been listed. The order shows no mercy, Henry. The rats are dead. There are no rats in the walls. It's unlocked. The wretched creature had no other possessions. Then a piece of paper. Let's read it. No, it's just the ship's log. Well, we can read it that too. Still in route to China. This is from 1823. A long time ago. We have encountered an island that does not appear on charts. I ordered the anchor drop close in shore. We sent the longboat for fresh water and supplies. The islanders are not tr interested in trading for gold, of which they have apparently a great quantity. I asked after its source in the hope of setting up a mining and moving operation for shore. In response to my questions, I was taken to a smaller island nearby and shown some stone ruins apparently of great antiquity. The designers carved upon them are like nothing I've ever seen in all my travels. This, they say, is the city of the sea gods, who can be prevailed upon... prevailed upon, okay, to give them gold for the asking. I suspect it is a remnant of a higher civilization now lost to the natives. Have evidently find gold among the ruins. That should be found. Doesn't anybody spell check this stuff? I questioned the island's chief elders at length about the ruins, and it was answered with the retelling of legends so savage and fantastic that I wondered at them. Perhaps when the gold is secured, and with it my own fortune, I shall reveal the island's location and open it for scholarship. Having traded for a large quantity of gold in addition to the needed water and fresh food, we resumed our voyage. I impressed upon the crew the need for absolute silence about this island, for if word were to get to others, get out, others would surely go there. I don't care. I'm having a hard time keeping track of this text. It's too big for the screen. Shortly before our departure, Chief Walakea sent me a gift of several small metal discs, evidently of the same workmanship as the ruins. By means of these and certain chants, he said, the sea gods could be summoned and induced to bring their gifts. Revisiting the mysterious island, we could find no trace of the people with whom we have traded for so many years. Their villages are razed to the ground, and no trace can be found of them. It appears that some other tribe has attacked and destroyed them. The men are much dismayed that we shall no longer be able to obtain gold here, unless we discover its source for ourselves. A day's searching among the ruins availed us nothing, although certain, certain of the crew were troubled by nightmares subsequently. It appears that this voyage is destined to be without profit, and we must return to Innsmouth with both hands and pockets empty. Most troubling turn events. The town has come to rely upon us, and the gold that we bring back to make up for the trade that was lost when the War of 1812 ended. What shall we become? What shall become of our home port now, along with us with it? Well, looking over the souvenirs and curiosities I collected on my Pacific voyages, seeking some comfort in happier memories, I happened upon the strange metal discs given to me by, by old Walakea and his people. I had quite forgotten forgotten them, the stories he told about gold-bearing gods from the sea. But now an idea is staring within me. I do not know whether to embrace it as Innsmouth's last hope, or to concede that desperation has driven me insane. Am I mad? The gold we brought from the island was real enough. Perhaps these sea gods are also. A uh, sailor 
far port sees many strange things and learns to keep an open mind. After much effort and recollection, I have remembered the chance Wallachia taught me. Tonight I shall row out to Devil's Reef to try them, along with the discs. Perhaps the sea gods will save us, or if not, I shall acknowledge my folly and return to the asylum. Later that night, the sea gods are real. I have seen them and spoken with them. I carry some of their gold, a token of more to come, I assume. I am assured. But the price, yet can any price be too high when one's home is at sea? Innsmouth shall rise again! This is a day of crisis for Innsmouth. I and those loyal to me have been seized and thrown in jail by our pious neighbours. Ready enough to enjoy the prosperity I have returned to the town, they scruple at the means I use, the power I wield. They must be taught a lesson. They have no idea of the powers they seek to defy. The terrible bargain I made was irrevocable, and by locking me up they bring great peril to the town. The very town that they would save from my influence, but it is too late for salvation. As surely as I know the morning tide will rise, I know that those from the reef will come to Innsmouth. They will come in search of those things I have been prevented from giving them, and they will come to punish those who have prevented me. Little do the righteous dream of the horror that will visit Innsmouth this night. There will be a great destruction. 1846 will be recorded in the town's annals as a year of unparalleled calamity. I shall make certain that 1846 also marks the beginning of a new age, an age in which no threat to our pact is tolerated. From this year on I shall play the tyrant, and my descendants shall do so after me, but we do so to avert a greater evil. Oaths of Dagon, the proviso to all oaths. Ia Dagon, I submit to the authority- Jesus fucking Christ. I just got a text message. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hold on a sec. <sighs> okay. If I should betray these sacred oaths, I am theirs to try and to punish according to the ancient laws and the extent of my trans transgression. Ia Dagon. The first oath. Ia Dagon. I swear that I shall keep faith with the Deep Ones in all things. I shall not resist their will, nor shall I betray their secrets. The second oath, Ia Dagon, I swear that I shall serve the Deep Ones in all things, as they shall command me to the furthest extent of my ability. The third oath, Ia Dagon, Ia Hydra, I take this child of Dagon and Hydra as my wife or husband, to take it into my home, to beget and raise children, so that the race and the faith shall continue to prosper. The lunatic dropped a piece of paper. Yeah, you, you just read it, man. I don't trust you. What is it you're really doing in Innsmouth, Jack? Dude. I'm not going anywhere till I know I can trust you. Dude. Asshole. I'm here to save your sorry ass and all you do is bitch and moan. Oh my god they've learned to shoot Where did I save last? In the fucking sewers Oh come on <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ The rotting corpse of a rat I suppose it might come in useful I'll take a look at the sewers then I think one dead rat is enough for anyone Ammo. A for 
first aid kit that I don't apparently need. I have to break Brian out of the can first. Why? It won't budge. Why not just let the fucker rot? He doesn't want to come with us. Let him die. Ignore him. What did I get? More tummy gun ammo. The door is bolted shut. Oh. Well, in that case, it's blocked. I can't go that way. Because there's no room in there. I shall unbolt the door. Save point. God damn it. That was a stupid death. Even for me, that was a stupid death. There's a dead dude in the car. I won't be able to get inside without burning myself. Okay, I now have access to a car. I don't trust you. I need to do Look this at again. Me. The rats are dead. There are no rats on the walls. Nom, 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 nom. Jesus, no! Stop it, you crazy bastard! It's unlocked. Yeah, the yeah. The dropped a piece of paper. According to this, there have been many arrests lately, but no charges. Why should I listed. trust you? How do I get him to trust me? Back here would be a great hiding spot. <laughs> Says he now after he's killed half the town. Body shot. How many of you fucks are there? And more is a coming. I think there's an infinite amount of these guys here. Quick heal. Quick heal! It's supposed to be quick, you idiot! Come there we go. Ow. Ah, okay. I guess it's not allowed to go in there. Agreed now. I understand. I will not do it again. I'm sorry, game for trying to break your rules. But I'm still nowhere closer to figuring out how the hell to get the, this Burnham guy to trust me. I mean, come on. Seriously. Oh, I can use a crowbar as a weapon, too. The door handle is missing. I can't be open from this side. I need to go the other side. That's smart. Actually, how did I get there? <laughs> I forget. Through the sewers, right, right. Okay. Oh, hello. 
There's a safe. Question, how do I open the safe? Eh, maybe later. All kinds of miscellaneous notices. All the desk drawers are locked. Here we go again. Look, Henry. The, the rats, rats are, are dead. dead. There, there are, are no rats, rats in the walls. Nom, 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 nom. Jesus, no. Stop it, you crazy bastard. It's unlocked. The lunatic dropped a piece of paper. All right, I was supposed to show this guy the photo. Ruth Billingham gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. before. Oh, damn. I've been so foolish. I am sorry. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. Please, hurry and get this door open. Well do, Jack. It's unlocked. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. It should be able to get us clear of town. Should be able to? If we can just make it through the patrols. Lead the way, Jack. Well, uh, there's there's no trouble with the patrols, I'm afraid. Through the sewers, I think. We are in agreement. We need to check the garage first. Okay. But I thought the garage to the door didn't have a handle. I like that animation. It's nice. This is it. Damn it! They're not normally locked. We'll have to find another way in. Where to now, Jack? Sewers. First we save. Come on, Jack. We need to get off the streets. I wonder if he can actually climb ladders. The streets have no cover, Jack. We'll get caught. He can! I'm amazed There's by There's something this game. wrong down here. Something very wrong. Yeah, I know. This little girl. It's, it's a creepy written thing, really. Long story. The rotting corpse of a rat. Oh, the I suppose it might come in useful. It smacks are more than just sewage. Bravo, oh. Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Mackie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack, there are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. 
It carries her picture inside. Oh, I won't leave on. it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date, and someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The government must have known about Innsmouth for a long time. time. Why the sudden entry? A few years back, some new hotshot was made head of the FBI. His name's Hoover. He's on a personal mission to wipe crime from this country. He's a good agent. Just don't tell him any jokes. Okay. It won't open. So we're making J. Edgar Hoover jokes now. Okay, I'll go get the fucking... Rooch. No, I won't! It works like a child. Why don't we just paint that symbol on every wall of the town? I'll shoot you in the head. is very calm about being shot. Why? What the hell is the point of this? Why do I need to go for his fucking brooch? Let him go for the fucking brooch. You know what's the best part here? I think I'll lift the back door locked. So I need to go in through the front. Must have got something wrong. <sighs> Click. Wow, dude. This must be Ruth's brooch. Feeling real fine. Real fine. Game. Nope, didn't hear a thing. Safety, I think. Got him here. Ah! 
Ha 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 ha! Asshole. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna save for tonight, and I'm gonna quit, and I'm gonna continue some other night. Hope you've enjoyed watching, and good night.